Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mayo and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And today is shop reviews. And this time for Redbubble sellers who watch this channel. I'm not gonna talk much. I'm gonna grab my computer and this uh, pillow computer thingy. And it really helps you out when you're sitting down. I think I should open like a drop shipping store for like orthopedic working equipment. And let's start by making myself smaller and heading over to YouTube where I asked you guys to share with me your red bubble links or more like red bubble shops. So by the way, to more than 35 people who emailed me or DM me their shops, as I said, I'm only looking at this when I'm choosing the shops to review. And I've already selected four shops for today's video, starting with Moxie Mermaid. And as I opened it, I was looking here and it feels like, you know, a child's painting from first look, but it's actually kind of cute. I didn't particularly like the mermaid's tail because, you know, it's just basically on the background. It doesn't really look that much special or maybe the colors didn't really align for me. But I love the starfish. I love this tail here. I love this fish. I really do like this style of art, even though it's, I think, was photographed a bit off. You know, it's it's not digitized, but it kind of looks really cool. It, it, I will be surprised to hear that it's digitized. So Moxie Mermaids from Humble USA. Please let me know if that's digitized or like actual painting. I came down and the featured collection is digital tie-dye for grads. <sighs> um, how do I say this without sounding mean? This is not good. The font looks like someone sort of squished it. I know I say this word a lot. Also this, it, the, the circle here is not really a circle. It's all kind of smushed inside. The real fun begins can't really read it. I would definitely not choose these colors. Also this, I would never choose to put anything with a frame that has a background on a t-shirt. And this is just something that I don't really understand why, why this is here. It's like, it doesn't feel like a part of this collection again, because it has nothing to do with grads. Also, this has nothing to do with grads, even though this is really adorable. It's called Red Hearts. I would actually uh, call it Red Snowflake. It kind of really looks like a snowflake to me. It really does look like a snowflake to me. And the thing is that if I'm looking at these items here, none of them is actually as good as this one because this one is well-designed. It's pretty. The contrast of the colors is actually kind of cool. And I would definitely make a collection and call it Snowflakes on Tie-Dye or something like that because... You can take this one design and change the saturation, change the color scheme, the color palette, and make a lot of other designs from it. And I want to go in and see what you've done with this design, what you have it on, because you do have it on some prints. Okay, with Spiral Notebook, when you make this design, make sure that the center of it is going to be a bit smaller, maybe. So when you put it on the Spiral Notebook, you can increase it. Because this part and this part, the up and down, don't look good. This should have been on all of it. Also, the hardcover journal. I mean, come on. You have the option to put it on both sides. Make a different size just for the journals and the notebooks. I would also recommend using that size, which is vertically aligned. Usually, I would use 3500 by 5000 pixels because that is also a really good size for wall art that includes within it the greeting cards. I would not put it like this on a t-shirt at all. I would remove the background to put it on a t-shirt. I wonder how it looks on a mug. And again, you could have literally also taken this design and repeated it as a pattern. So that would actually cover the entire mug because this design is a great example to differentiate between good graphic design or good art and good product design because while this is a good piece of art this is not a good product and i i feel like this was my biggest takeaway from briefly looking into your store i'm going to head back to your store 
We have here all kinds of collection, mermaids, pirates, and... and what? And I don't know. Christian, Texas, and nature? Whimsical ladies and digital tie-dye. You have so many different styles here. It's kind of really, you know, all over the place. I really do like that specific, um, I think these are your paintings. Do you actually draw them by hand? I think they're very good. Even though in this case, I think with the three flamingos, the photography is not good. So maybe try to get better photos from your products or even try to digitize them. That would make them a lot better. I'm also looking here and a lot of the things are just poorly designed for a product. They might be cool, but for a product, they don't look good. For example, like on this t-shirt. And I think that the biggest advice I can give you, actually two advices would be one, it's nice that you have all these niches and you can definitely have multiple niches on Redbubble, but I would focus on a design style, even if I'm splitting those niches. And I really think that your art is pretty. I would definitely go with that. But learning how to digitize it correctly, how to make the background go away, how to take one design and turn it into 20. And this is driving me nuts. Much better now. And the second advice would be to really sit down when you're designing and take the time to upload different types of files onto different types of products on Redbubble because you can change the files on Redbubble. And that's a pretty good opportunity, especially here. You upload something. This is the size of a Redbubble sticker. They're going to get the eyes like this and then glittery can't because what's taken all the space in the sticker is that line that was a mistake up top. Just delete it. It's going to expand itself automatically and maybe reduce the height between this and the eyes, like reduce the gap. You have a lot of nice designs, but they're all over the place. I really like your own paintings. I think they're super cool. And I wish you all the luck. Obviously, I hope that, you know, no one gets offended from the review. Um, I can't see any social links here. If there were, I would review them. But we're done with this one. Moving on to the next. We are here with Mira Rima. Love the name. Love the branding. That logo is epic. That font is really good. Can you please tell me what font it is? It's really nice. And I love the background. This made me feel like I was entering this and I was like, okay, I'm entering a world of a very talented watercolor artist. And then I scroll down and everything is thank you stickers. At the beginning, it was a bit of a bummer, I do have to say. Not because these are not good thank you stickers and not because I don't see the value in thank you stickers. Because seriously, you can make so much money from thank you stickers. It was one of my best sellers on Redbubble. I would sell packs and packs of them. But I feel like after this, gorgeous. <laughs> Maybe I should do like, after this, gorgeous cover photo. I kind of expected to see more. And I want to check out some of the patterns. I have a lot to say about this shop because I really like it. And I feel like I'm, I'm constantly searching in my eyes for this. Like I want to see this somewhere here. I don't know if it's in the patterns. The patterns are really cool. Can I ask, did you make them with that uh, pattern tutorial that I did? Like that automatic um, company tool where you click on something and it makes uh, other stuff. It's really nice and it feels very familiar to me that this is something that they do. And it looks really good. It looks like you really took the time to do multiple types of patterns. Okay, here we have a problem. Do you see how the postcard doesn't look good? If your wall art would have been either horizontal or vertical, which is like 5,000 by 3,500 or 3,500 by 5,000, your postcard and greeting card would have been full on printed, which gives you a lot more options when it comes to Redbubble. And I would really recommend doing that. These products are insane. I would not activate the cotton tote bag. I don't think it looks good with a pattern on it, especially not in those colors. But the rest here, again, greeting card, same tip. The jigsaw puzzle is probably going to be super trippy. Super trippy. Uh, I do think it's going to be like really, really trippy. And I want to see what is the size of these 
because I feel like, uh, wow. Okay. So you, you do have them on a very good file. So that is really nice. And I love that you're sort of running with it. Also, for example, here, this one really caught my eye because this spiraling thing is perfect for wall clocks. Do the same with this one. I mean, obviously stickers sell, but this is not really a nice sticker for sticker people, but it will grab a lot more attention as a wall clock. I think that overall, most of the product selection here is kind of awesome. I might just go into some of these and change up just one or two of them, you know, the main product so that I could like scroll down and see more variety. And I don't really get why you write seamless in here, like seamless watercolor glitter, because unless the word seamless, like we use the word seamless when we're selling something, when people want to buy, you know, actual graphics. And the fact is that on some of these products, this might not be seamless and you are not using it as a seamless pattern. I mean, you didn't duplicate this at all. So I wouldn't really call it seamless and it kind of looks pixelated. I'm not really sure why. Is that a part of the design? In any case, I really like these designs. I am kind of curious to see if you have any. Okay, we have Pinterest. We do have social media here. And the Pinterest leads to arrow equals true. What was the link supposed to be? Saved. Uh, your Pinterest link leads nowhere because you didn't actually put your own Pinterest link. So I recommend you work on that and change that. I'm going to go back to explore your designs. You have 291 designs. That, uh, that is a lot of work. And I want to check out, um, I think a thank you sticker. And I do want to check out a gratitude journal because I love those. I love those. They're definitely going to star in my Zazzle, uh, tutorial series because gratitude journals are simply the best. And I'm um, obviously, you know, it's a nice sticker that looks very nice. Uh, I'm trying to see on what other products did you put this? And I can't find them. And it is nice to have this um, as a sticker. And actually wrote thank you note with wreath with wreath of colorful flowers. It's not a thank you note, it's a thank you sticker. You literally don't have a note. Because why not activate this thank you sticker on a postcard and on a card? I mean, that's usually what people do with thank you. I would even activate this on mugs. Uh, let me just go over for a second the Redbubble variety. I'm talking about the thank you sticker. Please, for your sake, activate this on postcards, on cards. Even activating this on mugs could be nice. Activate this on a magnet on a magnet. People give thank you magnets all the time. I do agree, maybe for clothes, it really is not a good thing. I would put it as on magnets, as I said. Masks, some of the thank you masks uh, might sell. I know that I sold some thank you masks mostly in the past. I know that a lot of people bought thank you masks if they have any kind of service job where they want to, you know, get polite or something like that. Phone cases, yeah, no, I wouldn't bother. Maybe some small art prints might be nice with a thank you. I wouldn't rule it out, just activating them to try it out. Even on an apron, I might have done, you know, some thank yous. Definitely magnets and mugs. That is definitely, you know, something that correlates with our stickers. I'm looking at the other products, like pins, a thank you pin would be a nice thing. And you already have these designs, so just go ahead and activate them on these products. Moving on to gratitude journal, and I really like this. I like how you are like um, here because it's more from your shop, but you're also like similar designs from other artists are pretty much just you. You've done a really good job at, I mean, if Redbubble is recommending other sellers by recommending you, you've done a really good job with the gratitude journals and I love them. I'm trying to see, um, do you, you I would also recommend putting it as, you know, their notebooks because a lot of people will also do a gratitude journal on a normal notebook. So just take in this part and put it on the normal notebooks because you do have a lot of products. So, you know, why not? I could agree with you, but then we'd both be wrong. Oh, I love this. Uh, the funny quotes are really cool. I I don't like the, I think I don't like the color combination. I would have preferred it to be black or in this case where you had that uh, square around it. And one more comment that I really had to give you was this grateful. 
Uh, put it up. Up. Prince should be here. Not so low. I mean, think about it. If I wore something like this, it kind of looked weird. So I would definitely put up the designs with a t-shirt. I do find a lot of consistency within your profile. I love your designs. I love your style and I wish you all the best. So activate more things on the thank you. Please show me where this is because this is pretty. Carry on with the patterns. Change your Pinterest link because it's not working. And seriously, gorgeous branding, girl. Gorgeous branding. Moving on to Sir Geo. <laughs> kind of like that one. We have 29 designs and you're joined in on 2018. And this really took my breath away. I hope I'm like not falling into a trap and this is all, I don't know, copied from somewhere. I would love to know how you're making these things. You have Instagram and Pinterest. Let's check out your Instagram, a computer that draws thing. Check out my page. Hmm. Is that one of those um, AI things? Is that, is that your, uh, an AI thing? I really like it. I really do. And I like that on your Instagram, you put in a photo first and then you put in, you know, the continuous of the other products because you're focusing first on, you know, the painting itself. And I really like it. You also have a link tree, which is nice. I love seeing people send to a link tree and not just to Redbubble. You have a dark link tree. <gasps> you have society six. Ay, ay, ay. And here you have four designs. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. I get it. Society 6 does take a lot more time to upload, so I totally get it. You can also put your Pinterest link here. Uh, mixed with all kinds of topics. I'm, I'm really curious in seeing how you're doing your designs. And this feels like a totally different world. Is this from the same store? Okay, so these are all designs from what I think, yeah? These looks like all designs on your Pinterest. I would change that and generally go back to posting on Pinterest because these are really, really good. The only problem I have with these is that a lot of them are on stickers. And it kind of feels weird when I go from like one and 47 euros to like 103 because you're this, I'm guessing this is wall art. I would not share so many of those on stickers unless they are really selling because they just, the mock-up just doesn't do it justice at all. You're selling this on a poster on an iPhone case. So I just have to say this, okay? The mouse pad is gorgeous. And that comes from someone that doesn't use a mouse. Um, the skirt looks really nice. I really want to check how the skirt looks from the other side. Okay, so you just basically duplicated it. That's perfect. The stickers, again, they're nice, but come on, the laptop sleeves, such a beautiful product. The lap, all the phone cases are a beautiful product. The artboard print is a beautiful, beautiful product. I feel like I'm, my, my internet is failing me. The tote bag is a beautiful product. Like with this, for example, when I'm looking at this, I like to see that little light background because I feel like it gives me that contrast. The coasters are gorgeous. You have so many products that are actually being well designed. Even the greeting card. Why just the stickers? I would not put that first. Either a phone case or a greeting card or some kind of poster because these are actually really, really good. Especially when you have them in big sizes. I mean, this is insane. Why is it called three metal print or is that planet falling in black hole three? It actually kind of looks like an astronaut suit to me. I might even also add the words abstract if you haven't added them yet. It looks really nice. I feel like all I have to say about your designs is that they look really nice. I feel kind of dumb just repeating it, but these works are really good. The only comment that I have to give you is just don't push them on stickers flat on. Try having them on other things. I, I do love the phone cases. I think the pillows are insane. I think the bags are insane. Even the skirts are insane. I wouldn't just put them on stickers all the time. I think even on notebooks, they looked really good as well as on postcards. Uh, I feel like I want to give you some advice, but I literally just want to look at this and go like, oh, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. I would definitely use other mock-ups. 
uh, not just Redbubble mockups for your social media, and maybe even share some photos of you and how you created it. But all in all, these are pretty gorgeous, and I would love to know how you made them. Would love to know how you made them. What software are you using? Are you using one of those AI things? Um, because these are precious. And uh, we're approaching the last door, and I hope that you can't hear the dog that's been barking here for the past 10 minutes. And the last door is by Kirsty, by Kirst Co. Uh, with 116 designs. Oh, hey, bras are happy designs made to make you smile. Who is our? I mean, is it a joint operation? This uh, Red Bubble store, let's have a look. Kirsten from By Cursed Co. here, thanks for stopping by my designs. Okay, so my, no, no need for our, you're one person, that's good. You have a website, you have Instagram, you have Pinterest. Oh wow, I'm loving this. <gasps> this is so pretty. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. Can I just say this is so pretty and finish the review now? This is really cool, and you're using Shopify, which is pretty awesome. You have your own stickers here, like hologram, holographic stickers, freebies. What freebies do you have? Oh, wow. Stay groovy, baby. Retro foam wallpaper. When it rains, look for rainbows, printable and digital coloring sheet. Oh, I like it. I like that you have freebies. It's absolutely precious. And um, let's go to new. You really have nice stuff. I'm, I'm, I, I love your store. Let's just go here because I just want you guys to try and follow the train of my thought. I want you to look at me scrolling down and at the end, tell me if you know what I'm about to say about this store. Okay, we're scrolling down. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Do you guys get what I'm about to say? Let's scroll all the way down. This store is consistent. We have here several times repeating themselves the same designs. For example, you are enough. You are enough. We have those in various colors, but even the color combinations are matching, are going through the same color, I think like scheme or palette. This is just a store. How do I say this? Uh, that is nice to look at. I find that the combination of multiple stickers for most of your products, while featuring the patterns every now and again on the notebooks, is simply brilliant. You have such a huge potential with um, stationery that I would seriously tell you, I don't know if you're doing this or not, but Tee Public for all the you are enough and all of these might be a nice idea. Uh, the seamless patterns, definitely Society6, but if you don't wanna deal with any of those, just go to Zazzle. They have stationary paper. They have so many things that could really be relevant with this. They have different types of notebooks, including planners, that would really stand out because these look precious. And I do wanna to go to one of these and look into a specific one and what you're doing with it. So we have focus on self, love, not hate. Um, Start focusing on the things you love about yourself rather than the things you hate. Cheers. And I'm looking down. It's also available on a t-shirt. Okay. Do you see the problem here? Why Don't choose this as a featured color. Don't put this as a featured color. It does not look good. No one can see this. Now, the thing is that, of course, that when I go in, I can use this color. And people can buy it on this. But when people see this, they don't necessarily think, oh, I can buy it on black. They just see, hey, I can't read what it says. Same with the hat. We have more products here. I really like what you've done with those. Again, we have this color here that is off. We have this color here that is off. This color is a bit off. This one is off. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know why they put this. Did you know that zipped hoodies on Tee Public? automatically put the design on the back of the hoodie why can't redbubble do it i mean they're owned by the same person no it's like both of them are owned by redbubble which is a brilliant move by tipo like and a really dumb from redbubble this color again you can't really see what it says and it's kind of important because it's kind of cool so i would definitely work on that i do find that the consistency 
with this color palette is amazing and definitely a consistency with color palette that you usually see on places like Society6 and not on Redbubble. So cheers to that. And of course, a postcard that looks like a postcard and fills up everywhere. As I said to the other two stores to have a vertically aligned or horizontally aligned designs instead of a square to fill it up. So you and Sergio from before are really filling up the space here, which looks really good. I, uh, I, I think the shower curtain may be a bit too, too big. Um, but the rest is nice. And on the mug, I would not put the design here. Just an advice. You can take a very, a really long, um, like horizontally aligned design that is like this and put one design here, one design here, and then place them on a mug from both sides because you can change the files when you're on Redbubble. So try doing that because it will look way better on both sides. I would not activate this on a tote bag, on the cotton tote bag at all with these colors, but it's, you know, it's your choice. Um, and I would make it a lot smaller on this one, but this is definitely a precious stationary, um, motivational, very relaxing store. This is how a consistent seller looks like. I love the design of your website. I love these choice of colors. And I love what you're doing with Instagram and obviously you're still active. So it's kind of cool. Self-love shake. That's really, really nice. You have here a Beacons link page. So, oh, shop the website. My survey. Shop on Etsy. Are you a crafter, maker, creative? Shop my designs of cat files. That's on Etsy as well. And when you sign up for Sticker Mule. Oh, you ordering from Sticker Mule. I love them. I love them. In case we have, uh, is that the same Etsy store? Oh, these are different Etsy stores. Oh girl, you've been busy. You've been busy. You've been very, very, very busy. Uh, I'm not going to review all of it. I'm just going to say that, uh, this is severely cool. <laughs> I'm just going to say that this is severely cool. Seriously, you're taking this seriously and I love Love, love your style. Let me just uh, make myself bigger again. Because we're wrapping up this shop review with first me thanking you guys for watching this video and also thanking the people who applied to be on the shop review. I hope that you understand that everything I'm saying is, you know, from a place to try to help you out. And it's also just my opinion, obviously. You can just go like, yeah, she doesn't get my style. And that's totally fine. I mean, we are all different people. We have different design styles, different things that we love to see. And I'm guessing like, you know, even the things that I do won't be like the best looking designs for everyone. And we all have mistakes. So thank you so much for being vulnerable with me and trusting me with your shop links. And if you did like this video, by the way, and found this content useful, please hit the like button down below because every time you do, it really does help my channel and subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow with a major, major video, which is how did April go for me and what are my goals for the month of May? We're traveling to Skopje on Monday. So that's going to be really fun for about nine days. I'm still going to be posting from there, just maybe not as much. We do have a lot of work planned out for this travel workation of sorts, but we also do just want to have fun and kind of be tourists for a while. So I will be stopping by, maybe not as much, um, which is why it's really important for me uh, to catch up with you guys tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. with my goals for the month of May, as well as the bundle box from April, which is going to be the biggest one yet. I still have not decided what's the next shop review going to be about. I wanted to make it on Society6, but I really need to check out the internet connection that I'm going to have in Skopje to make sure that it would load because Society6 is, uh, yeah, a big heavy thing. Uh, so I will, of course, keep you guys updated in the community tab. I've also got so many other products here that it's just insane. I don't know if you've seen my video from yesterday about the jigsaw puzzle from Guten. But literally after I finished filming it, I got a message from the receptionist where we live to go downstairs because I have another package. I don't know if you guys seen a video of mine from almost a year ago. Oh, it's kind of cool. Wait, one, two, three. Do you get that? <gasps> I didn't even mean to do it. Huh? Anyway, I don't know if you guys saw my video from last year when I did a video with my dad going over the supplier, this new, and... Uh, 
This was a year ago. Um, we ordered a 1000 piece puzzle and I really liked it. He made most of it, but this time I wanted to order for myself a 500 piece puzzle from this new. And I do have to say it's nice. Other than the fact that it smells like uh, a kindergarten craft lesson because it literally smells from glue. I, I, I wish I could uh, describe it, but the quality is kind of nice and we're probably going to do it today for board. Um, but yeah, we're so much into puzzles here. Also, these are puzzles, believe it or not. And I also got this uh, from this new. It's a print on demand, obviously, tote bag. Uh, but it's with a Slovakia pattern and I'm obsessed with it. I don't know if I want to do another full review about them. I think that these are just products that I ordered for myself and I just wanted to share. I'm going to finish this Revobo Shop review by sipping a drink of black tea apple from my Redbubble mug from my store on Redbubble that doesn't exist anymore. I know that I got a lot of people talking to me about making reviews for Redbubble and videos for Redbubble now that I'm not on Redbubble, but the facts are I had my reasons for leaving. Uh, there was a full video on that. I'm not going to touch on that. And I don't regret being on Redbubble all these years. I think it taught me a lot. And I think that I had to come to the point where I don't want to be on the platform. I'm not telling anyone from this, you know, tutorial or I'm not telling any one of these shops to not be in Redbubble. I'm just, uh, I just hope that you guys open your eyes and hopefully the next few weeks with the Zazzle series will open up your eyes to a lot of different other ideas, especially when you are such creative people. But that was it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that April was a kind month to you and I hope that May will be even better and I'll see you guys tomorrow in my goals video. Bye!